anyway, so uh, for those of you that don't know, we have Carrie and Tori and Grant. Um, what's really cool about this is we've got a couple of them. We have Carrie and Tori here with us in San Francisco in the office, but we have Grant logging in from a different location in Los Angeles. So um, are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, so Ooh. please welcome to the stage Carrie, Grant, and Tori from the Mythbusters. Whoa. Hey. 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 <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, my gosh. This is so awesome. Wow. Hi, everybody. Hi. Everybody. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Well, that's a lot of people. Whoa. So people float to the sky. What's up? <laughs> Everybody's still loading, but you all look awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I want to float like that. How do I, do I think that? you kind of are. You are right now. Yeah, you are, you are. We're still loading. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is Oh neat. my gosh, this is so rad. What's up from the What's up from the There we go. Hi guys. Hi. Hey. Wow. Hey. Now, I have done events all over the world. This is the oh, first time oh I've my done God. anything like this. <laughs> this is cool. This is so, this is so bizarre. Awesome. So, <laughs> I'm Carrie Byron. <laughs> That's Yay. Grant over there. I'm <laughs> Grant Story. Imahara. Hi. I'm okay. And I, can, and I can levitate. What? <laughs> Everything is starting to come in. Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh I gotta tell God. you, when we started filming this show like 2003, <laughs> this is the last place I expected to end up. <laughs> Actually, I feel like this is the logical conclusion. Is it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no it, it lines makes, for Comic Con. It makes you know. it easier getting ready in the morning. Yeah. And you can you know, do this from anywhere. Like right now, I'm in Los Angeles, and Carrie and Tori are in San Francisco. Tori, come back to the stage. <laughs> he's already, he's already crowd surfing, dude. That was, huh? Whoa, that was rad. <laughs> you know, for my very first episode of MythBusters, I actually got 3D scanned by Jamie. Do you remember that? Yeah, what was that for, Carrie? No. <laughs> is, is that how you got your start in the industry? That is how I got my start on the show. But do you, the 3D scanner that I got on wasn't like what you do for this. It was, it was, it was like a Hellraiser ball, and there was, there was little balls on stakes to hold me still, touching um, all parts of my body, and it would spin me around, and I had to stand still for half an hour. So does it feel? If, 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 so it's like come full circle. It's good. Yes. <laughs> Are these scams? I wonder if that, that scam probably still exists. Jamie probably still has it. Jamie Look. paid me $100 for that scan of my... <laughs> wow, that was a, a deal. <laughs> I had to wear a bathing suit so he could get a proper scan. Uh -huh. And he paid me $100. And I would, back then I worked for free, so I was like, yes, $100. Woo! <laughs> Tori, Amazing. stop moving around. <laughs> Sorry, I just, this is so cool. <laughs> Woo! Hey, oh, look, Harry, check, come up, check come this up to out. the front. You could be a zombie. There you go. Come on, Grant, let's. <laughs> Bring! <laughs> oh, dang, look at that one. There you go, that's a zombie for you. <laughs> Gorgeous. Wow. Pickle Rick. Yeah, we got a kid. Pickle, Pickle Rick. Rick. <laughs> yes. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. All right, where are you guys from? Hold on. Connecticut. Just Connecticut, <laughs> LA, Canada. 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 Oregon. Canada. Oregon. America. Cool. America. 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 <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That. Anyone from Bakersfield? <laughs> I know Bakersfield. That's the, that, that's the VR capital we, of the Central Valley. Do we, do we, do we got any, any Fresno in the house? Hello? More cricket? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crickets. It's, it's Fres, yes. Fres, maybe? I've been to Bakersfield. 
Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I so bit you. We... <laughs> so you guys want to talk about uh, Mythbusters what? or? <laughs> yeah, there's a there's oh, like a Q and A. There's yeah. You want to start with that? Let's start with that. All right. Um, or we okay. could just trip out. I can't take him anywhere. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It is, yeah. All right, guys, Watch. if you have any I'm questions, like just get in line here over over by the velvet ropes. and um, There's a little line microphone. Up. Yeah, there's a little microphone. Oh, there you go. Be able to take your questions. I'm sure you guys have got some questions. Oh, we got some people. Here we go. Jumping Excellent. in. Crowd serve. All right, so don't forget to unmute your <laughs> microphone. It's possible that you're muted. All right, come on up. <laughs> yes. Hi. Oh, Whoa. Sure. The, am I, I, this is, hi there. Uh, hey. So, a, am I audible? Yeah, yep. I totally can hear you. We got you. Okay, awesome. I wanted to ask if you guys know if there's going to be any more White Rabbit Project. Because I really enjoy uh, this. Oh, this is my sad avatar. Oh, <laughs> uh, darn it. <laughs> we loved working on White Rabbit Project. Unfortunately, we uh, we were new at Netflix, and I don't think the publicity got out there enough for enough uh, people. Oh, so we'll, unfortunate. I know. Yeah. We it. We, see, the, the fortunate thing with Mythbusters is when we started, it was like the Wild West of cable. And so it was sort of an experiment. They went from animal documentaries to taking a risk on something like us. So we had time to develop. We started out, yeah. it, was a little, it was a little rough going. And then once, you know, we got, we had a couple seasons under our belt, we could figure out what our voice was. But with <laughs> TV now, you go out swinging or that's it. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I hear you. That's unfortunate, but I, at least that's an answer to my question. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people got confused by the name. They were like, White Rabbit. <laughs> yeah. And I think nowadays, you know, Netflix is really into sort of long form narrative that you just binge and you have a through line <laughs> story. And so, you know, having uh, yeah. individual episodes wasn't really what I think they were looking for. In my opinion, there's too much of that. There's too yeah. many shows that have hour long episodes and want to go to season 15. Nobody has time for that. So. <laughs> well, thank you, and we will communicate your views to Netflix, because we would like another show. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right, I'll let you guys go. Appreciate this is, it. I just have to <laughs> say, this you. is this is one of the coolest conventions, because we got, like, slapping zombies flying in the air. People are just, like, levitating. It, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you, have, have, there, have you guys seen White Rabbit Project on Netflix? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Woo! Yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah. good. It's yeah, nice not, check it out. We do some cool stuff. Really cool stuff. It was sort of Netflix's answer to Mythbusters. They came to us and asked if we do sort of a Mythbustery kind of thing, but we wanted to change it up just a little bit. We want more. Okay. We want yeah. More. <laughs> Thank you three for being here. This is so cool. Is anybody from Netflix in here? <laughs> we want more. We want more. <laughs> Hi, Zach. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Good to see you. Did you ever have an experiment on Mythbusters that just failed so spectacularly that it didn't even get on the show? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what squash are some of those? Lifter. Triple What's yes. Of those cool what about Squash ones? Weightlifter? Squash oh, Weightlifter. Yeah. yeah, that was that was random. Like this guy right here. Whoa, what's up? Like a penguin dude. Oh, he's gone. Uh, okay, so <laughs> we had one that was, uh, the idea was that a one of those giant pumpkins that they grow during Halloween out in Monterey, that the huge ones, that it had um, such strength that as it grew, it could, it could actually lift the weight of a car. Uh, so we went down and we went to get like the the, the award-winning seeds and we had the best hydroponics and light system that San Francisco could offer and you know they have <laughs> a lot of that. We set up a grow house and we tried and tried and tried but we couldn't get a pumpkin bigger than like that. <laughs> that <laughs> we and tried. we were trying. It and was like killed. it was months. Yeah, we right? killed. Oh. That we were doing that. We, we yeah. learned quickly. We kill pumpkins. <laughs> like we, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, but then there was Thank you. There, there was one. It was uh, the story came from Australia. This plumber went out to his van in the morning. He hit his fob, <laughs> and the fob blew up. Or the, it blew up the whole van. The whole the yeah. whole van blew up. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. and the, the the myth was that uh, his acetylene tank for welding had leaked all night. And so we went out to the desert to test this, and it worked so well that we were like, okay, maybe we can't really air this episode because it's 
it's frightening. It was also right around the time that there was a van in Manhattan that somebody was that, that, that it was suspected that that might have been a terrorist attack. So Discovery's like, don't air that because we're teaching them oh, how to do yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> but they did. They did eventually air um, a part of it, I think, but not the whole episode. Just just one piece of it. Thank you so much. Sure. <laughs> But what about Sword in the Stone? Remember when we had a crazy oh. producer that thought that maybe we could actually get a sword stuck in the stone, but we're like, how do you touch? We can't touch magic. Yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 Hello. I have one of you on my shelf. <laughs> and make sure you're not muted as possible. Whoa, look at that little avatar. It's like so a little cute. floaty. I this feel like really I'm, cool. I don't have a very creative avatar. I feel like I should uh, be wearing... Can you hear me? I, oh, yes. yes. We can hear you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I you muted myself and you must have muted me again. Yeah, uh, how, many, like, if, how many myths do you usually do in a year? How many myths do we do in a year? Goodness. Okay, so our seasons changed length. When we first started, our first season was like three episodes, and by the end, it was like 36 episodes. So we were working all year long. How many episodes would you say we did in a year? Uh, roughly one every two weeks. So, you know, 100. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe about between 80 and 100, I think. And we would do around 36 episodes for a year and a half. And then in each of those episodes, we had like two myths. Sometimes mini myths. You guys do the math. That's hard. Woo. Yeah, it, it would change a lot. But like as the season <laughs> progressed, we would do more and more and more. Because <laughs> they're like, we need more content. <laughs> so, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here with you. Thank you. Where are you, wait, you. Thank where you, you. Where are you from? Where are you from? Uh, is the UK? England? Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, cool. Welcome. That's thank awesome. You. Thank you very much. How, <laughs> how rad is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is neat. Hello. Oh, hey, I'm Hi. back. Hey. Hey. Hey, I was just curious if we'd ever get redemption on the little red wagon in the future. Oh, Sorry. you know, what? I wanted I wanted to do that today, <laughs> but with with a red motorcycle like a Ducati <clears throat> and and try to jump over the building, but I mean, cause, I feel like cuz I wouldn't get hurt. For here, it yeah. definitely would be. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't want to crash the server. Oh, hey. Whoa. Where, where awesome. We'll, Where'd you we'll, teleport to, dude? We'll, I just oh, I, I was crowd surfing. <laughs> Woo! Well, we definitely want to see that. You know. All right, next <laughs> next one. Woo! We'll do it next time. Get right. you a BMX bike next time. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Great. Next person, step on up here or float on up here. Okay. okay no worries. All right. We'll hold. You Place in line. Dude, that is yep. so weird to see. She's just like floating in air. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna, up. I'm gonna reboot because uh, I'm crashing. <laughs> and you're really way too close to me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now you're too close to me. Uh. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Hey, not too bad. So I'm thinking back to like the electric fence prank, and I'm wondering, like. How much is just completely spontaneous, and how much is sort of forced on you by the production company? Um, well, are you talking about when at, when we made Adam grab the? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we were doing Baghdad batteries. The whole myth was that uh, in ancient times they were able to make these crude batteries, and so we tried it. It didn't work. But then we were like, hey, let's hook up our Ark of the Covenant to the shock, the the uh, cattle shocker. That you hook up to the fence. electric fence, yeah. Yeah, and we all tested it, and it sucked, and it hurt way too much. And we told the producer, we're like, we can't do this. This is like too mean. It's too <laughs> it's dangerous. Over the top. It's, and yeah. our producer, the producer said, had watched Adam chasing Jamie around all morning, trying to shock him with it. So I think it was uh, a little redemption. Gotcha. However, when the edit, it looked like he hooked it up to Adam just to shock him. And we look, we look yeah. horrible. We People, look horrible. we got, we got yeah, so much got hate mail. That there was a lot more going on behind the scenes, and I was just looking for some of the inside baseball. So. Yeah, that producer, he ended up leaving sooner or later yeah. <laughs> because he was a little cruel. I gotcha. 
Okay. Although that having been said, I don't think that that's the norm. That was one, I think one of the few examples I can think of, of the producers kind of, you know, guiding a situation to, yeah. to that's do something. That's also, we were bad. first starting, whereas like we had more control as we went on. And I think they realized that they like to see the natural chemistry and the natural things that we do, because it was way more fun watching us have fun with each other rather than yeah. staging situations. The only things that were really staged were the blueprint room where yeah. we had to get out specific points and pieces of science, whereas like when we're out in the field, we're playing pranks on each other, we're having fun, that's all just, that's us. Yeah. And, and you know, one question people would always ask us is like, do you ever get tired of explosions? And they're like, would, you know, did, was there a point where you would fake your reaction? And it's like, absolutely not. I mean, when you're that close to like a little explosion, you're just like so pumped on adrenaline. It's like, wah! Yeah, in fact, we would have a camera positioned in front of us, in front of the screen, watching us during something, an event like that. And I remember there was one time where we were filming um, Creamer Cannon. And it was this giant cannon that was uh, supposed to go off. And our big finale was a super cannon. And the thing went off. And initially, we didn't think that it was, you know, it was just kind of disappointing. It didn't do anything. And then about a, a half second later, it turned into this giant fireball that started advancing towards us. Yeah, it was and literally soon. like Armageddon, like the whole sky. <laughs> and just at that same exact moment, the wind shifted. <laughs> so now this giant cloud of fire just started moving towards us. And then we were like, run, run for your lives. And I think Carrie actually like shoved us away into the fire to get up the hill no, faster. No, 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 I used you as a human shield and abandoned Grant completely. <laughs> That's right. I turn around. I'm like, I better, you know, there's a camera on us. I better stay here and, you know, just watch the thing. And I'm like, no, this is too dangerous. And I turn around and they're gone. They're nowhere to be found. Thanks. Let's get the next question. Step on up here. Um, I already asked a question before. I don't know if it's okay for me to go back up. Yeah, actually, if you could get um, and let the people that haven't asked give them a turn, that would be helpful. Thank you very much. Pickle Rick, come on up. What's up, Pickle Rick? <laughs> Pickle Rick. And you might be muted. I'm mute. Oh, there's Gumby. <laughs> oh, hello, Gertrude. Can you, do you know how to unmute? Give Pickle Rick a second. Oh. Hi, Pickle Gertrude. Rick looks like uh, she wants some tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to let some somebody else ask a question while you figure it out? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Cool. Let's get the next person up here <laughs> and tell you to sort that out. Yep. Come on up. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Megatron. Nice accoutrement. I uh, I was wondering if Grant was still building robots, and would any of them be interested in joining me to defeat Prime and the Autobots? <laughs> <laughs> I am That's still building robots. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm actually uh, consulting right now for Disney Imagineering, and um, the last set of robots that we're working on are are essentially. Uh, robotic stuntmen that can fly through the air and do acrobatics. Uh, so right now <laughs> we're doing the next generation. Some of them, uh, you know, might be interested in, in joining your cause. Fantastic. That is so cool. Are you making any outside of work? Are you doing any at home, like your own special robot projects? Uh, just BB-8 is the last one that I did. So he's 90% uh, he's complete. Great, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Megatron. Hi, Michael, Rick, how about you, you get sorted? Can you Hi. hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Hi. What was, what was your favorite myth? Um, I really liked myths w that were historical, but the best ones to do were Shark Week myths because when you got off work, you'd be in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the Shark Week myths. What about you guys? Uh, I like the ones where we're surprised and you know, it's like uh, we did one that was a deep sea diver, and supposedly it's an old timey canvas dive suit with a, um, a diving bell helmet. 
And if the air system fails, the water pressure is enough to push the body, all the guts up through the hose. And in my mind, I was like, this is never going to work. But so Tori, I have to make a tiny sculpture of you. Yeah. The, the small scale, and then we finished the myth after I went on maternity leave, so I wasn't there for the final experiment. Yeah, but Tori had built a meat man, and um, <laughs> our neighbors <laughs> snuck over and turned off the refrigerator that that the uh, the meat man was in. Oh, How'd that smell? <laughs> Does that smell good? Oh, <laughs> it was horrible. It was rotten meat. Ew. Great. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, thank awesome. you. Thank, thank you for the thanks. question. All right. Tori, are you Next muted? Up. Would you ever, would you ever consider doing like an Amazon series? Absolutely. Are do you work there? No, I'm just like <laughs> wondering. <laughs> I would yeah, definitely. I That's we're in. Like Amazon Prime. And I'm back. Oh, there you go. Cool dude. Yeah, so I want to um, be like Amazon or maybe a YouTube like free with ads series. Absolutely. I mean, we're pitching all over the place for different things. We're just trying to find the right fit for the right thing. Okay, yeah. I'm about to go off to an avatar contest. Enjoy. All right. Bye. Bye, Bye clapping zombie. That was all awesome. right. Are you uh, next up? Come on. I hope you, you wait. Okay. Don't be shy. Yeah, come on. Up. There you go. Hi. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, I was just wondering, is this your first time in VR? You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually not. Like, um, I went to the um, a gaming convention, and they had this one scenario where you're sitting inside a cave, and you look down, and there's dinosaur eggs, and then all of a sudden this T-Rex comes through the jungle, and it comes up to you, and it like leans down and tries to bite your head off. And I'm telling you, like in everything, you know, I'm like, okay, I know this is fake, but I could, I could not control my body. I was literally like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and every single person that went through this experience did the exact same thing. It's like, even though you know it's fake, you can't control your body. Yeah. So this, I went to the VR um, convention and tried a bunch of different games, and my first time was in a zombie shooting game, and people were filming me because I was screaming and ducking, and <laughs> I am very reactive. So this is, yeah. this is definitely my first extended amount of time in VR. This isn't my first time. Like, I've done a lot of the, the shooters and other VR-type experiences, but this is definitely the first time that I've been with this many other people. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> And experience like live, you know, interacting with people from Won't everywhere. Won't be the last. Yeah, yeah that's, it's really that's neat. A big hand of a round of applause for that. Yeah. Thank you. All right, uh, the knight, come on up. Right, there's a mouse down there. Yeah, there's a oh, mouse did I miss the mouse? I'm yeah. sorry. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's door. cute. Oh. Hi, can you hear me down here? Oh, yeah. Hey, right. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh. That's amazing. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh God, the cap. Hey, Bill. Hi, I'm Marcus. Um, I was just curious. You guys always take uh, serious safety precautions and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm always. I, I was curious whether or not there was anything that. Uh, Can't take you seriously. <laughs> <laughs> You want some cheese? <laughs> oh dear. Give the man some cheese. Sorry. All right. I would Sorry. love some cheese. Sorry. Sorry. Continue. No problem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now you've got me kind of on the giggles. Um, uh, all right. All right. All right. I'm, I'm trying to remember what my question was now. Um, uh, safety precautions. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, um, so, is there anything? Uh, I know there are guys. You got there's things you guys said. No, we can't do this. That's too dangerous. But have you, has the inverse ever happened where you guys really wanted to do something and the produ producers or oh, your insurance boy. or somebody wouldn't let you? Yeah, we, there was one we wanted. Well, I wanted to do. It was go over the Niagara Falls in a barrel. <laughs> oh my. And so, so the concept was each of us was gonna we were gonna build our own like super strong barrel and build it out of any material we wanted. But then the kicker was we would make other people like we would all switch up and we would go in each other's barrels. And 
Discovery said no to that. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for every experiment, we had to fill out um, like an insurance slash safety form. And I remember there were all these different categories, like are they going to be venomous animals or uh, are you welding? Are, are there explosives? And so the insurance company would rate, yeah, obviously. Oh, yeah. You know, there, there was, after the bike jump, they put in a clause in the insurance, and it was called random acts of Tory. Yeah. <laughs> so, and they would rate uh, what, how dangerous the experiment was from moderate to extreme. And nine times out of ten, we were extreme. But we were insured by the same insurance company as Jackass, so we were kind of the same. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think Tori also wanted to do another one, the, the gasoline one. Gasoline oh, slide. Yeah, that's right. He wanted oh. to, there's like a, on a hot day, those metal slides. Kids were trying to figure out how to go down the slide, so they were going to lube it up with gasoline. Oh, but my God. Blaming children yeah. apparently is not discovery approved. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sad. Who, who would have thought? Bad. Who would have thunk? <laughs> what? You don't want to see flaming kids go down a metal slide? What's wrong with you? Don't you know good television? Yeah. Yeah, there was a, 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 a term that discovery has called imitable behavior. <laughs> And so we had to avoid anything that, that mm. people could copy at home. They could look it up on the internet themselves, but uh, we couldn't show them how to do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much, guys. Thank you. All right, next up. They're such spoil sports. <laughs> Indeed they are. <laughs> oh, oh are, on the mouse? Are, he just disappeared. Where'd he go? Oh, I'm over here. Okay. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where? He's, he's oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, oh no, he's on. No, I'm still here. <laughs> yes. Hi guys, thanks for doing this. I'm curious, what kind of shows do you think are going to work in VR? Oh, that's a Ooh. good question. I've got some Ooh. ideas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to some people after this is over because I really like, I really like this idea. But I, I would love to do some experiential shows. You know, like maybe you come to the bomb range with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, yesterday we were running around this area, and I was like, "Gosh, it would be so fun to play hide and seek in this world, you know, mm -hmm. where it's like you just have a, you know, maybe you know a smaller amount of people, or you have a bigger world, and you guys are all trying to hunt us down. Mm -hmm. We could yeah. build all the things that idea. we couldn't figure out how to build. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we could do those dangerous things that they wouldn't let us do. Yeah. I know you could you could fly around. <laughs> there are so many things that you could do. It's that's one of the cool things. Like your environment could be anything. Yeah, and you know what? You know, whenever we do these talks, people are always going, "Oh, are you going to blow anything up? Are you going to blow anything up?" And we're like, "No, we can't." Oh. You know, the <laughs> fire department won't let us set anything on fire or blow stuff up. But in an environment like this, we would be able to blow some stuff up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Speaking of. Tori, I think there's a button behind that desk that Ian and you oh. demonstrate. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? <Yes>. Huh. what? <laughs> Carrie, will you do the honors? Yeah. Can we get can we get a countdown from you guys? Yeah. Okay. Starting from from what? ten or five. We'll go five. Three, two, one. Okay. Five. Yeah. Wow. Starting from 49, wow. 49, <laughs> 48, 49. just yeah. kidding. Oh. Everybody, look over there. Yeah. Over, uh, Ooh, there you go. Oh, boy. Oh, damn. Wow. Oh, damn. Yeah. This, I would have to say, this is the first convention where we ever got to blow anything up. You guys are in first. Yes. 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 High five. All right, let's take another question. <laughs> yeah. What? 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 Yep. Hello. Hello. Okay. Um. Uh. This isn't like about MythBusters or anything, but um. Oh, uh, what do you prefer to play games on PC or console? Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the battle lines are drawn. We, we we might we might divide the room. How quickly we'll lose them. Uh, That's all right. It's not, it's not worse than Star Wars versus Star Trek. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. PC versus Mac. Commodore 64. <laughs> the purple Atari dragon is the purple dragon has spoken. <laughs> yeah, uh, I play I play on PC because uh, that's I'm an old school first person shooter guy, 
So uh, Overwatch is what I'm playing right now. See, I'll go both ways. <laughs> and I mean playing video games. Uh, you know, I'll, I, I'll play consoles, but then also PC, because PC, obviously, it's it, you can, a lot faster. A lot faster. Yeah. What's your I have favorite? a nine-year-old, so I'm playing mostly games with, with her. I do a lot of Just Dance right now. <laughs> uh, does she do Minecraft? She loves Minecraft. She's yeah. a Minecraft man. And try, Fortnite, uh, and you know. Do, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Beat Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, no, that could be super house. cool. How sick would that be? Yes. It's dope. It's dope. Yeah. It's dope. Oh, wow. It. It's awesome. Thank you. Sure. Thanks. All right. Next up. I'm going to try. You're ready. To You're ready to do it. I'm going to try. <laughs> okay, so it looks like my hands are in my crotch, but I swear to you, um, the only reason it looks like that is because my controller's down. My husband's at work. This is actually a, a question for my husband. That's not He's... what's happening for no, us. No, you, 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 you look totally normal. <laughs> oh, wink. Okay, so <laughs> he wants to know who made the busted sign and where is it now? Um, the original busted sign, uh, the letters were cut out and welded by Scotty, who was on the show before Grant. Um, and we, you know, when, when mm. we made them, we didn't realize that it was going to kind of become the text for the show. And I think now they're in the Mythbuster Museum, which is traveling around the country. It's, um, it's an experiential exhibit that you can try some of the experiments that we try. There's a lot of videos. It's really cool. Oh, Kids that's awesome. It. That's really cool. Thank you so much for being here, by the way. This is fantastic. Oh, that's fun. Thanks for having me. This, this is the coolest experience ever. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank, Thank you for asking the question awesome. for your husband. That's uh, solid. <laughs> Who else uh, wants to come it's up Relationship and, goal. Um, Asking. Relationship yes. goals. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Woo. Go for it. Hello. Hi. What Hi. are the chances of getting a you know, pitching Netflix or Amazon for a two-hour episode based on one thing and one thing only? Oh, the missing okay. credit card episode. Uh, oh. Two hours, huh? Yeah. You know what you know what give it to them good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we could pitch it. Would they air it? <laughs> yeah. I feel like the credit card companies will come down upon us. They're like, ah, don't touch. Uh, you could do it anonymously in Hi-Fi. I feel like um, credit cards are almost obsolete. You're all doing it from our phones now. My personal phone. Oops. Oh. Hey. Oops. Yep. Yeah. Pickle Rick, what's up? Great, thank you. <laughs> We're going to uh, reset the buster so we can set them off and again. So don't yeah. worry about the buster moves around you. All right, let's take another question. Shut it off. Oh, uh, what are the chances I could get a picture with you guys in VR, like oh, later or something? Um, yeah, I mean, if I it, guess. I, yeah, I don't see how. How does that work? <laughs> 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 yeah, it works. We got, we got cameras and stuff, so we could do it. That's another first. Yeah, no, a selfie cool. in VR. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, maybe afterwards <laughs> we can get a group shot of everything. Yeah. That'd be sure. fun. Oh, yeah. that'd be cool. Awesome. Yeah. All right, who else got questions? Anybody else got a question? Thank you. Step on up. This is a sort of a new platform for us, so it's it's a little different the way that we're presenting. We don't have any videos for you. <laughs> I know. So we have to just hover. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another question. It's like a magic show. Actually, how, how do you guys normally perform? What do you do when you're traveling around together and talking, giving talks? Uh, I think it just depends. Like some venues will come and show video clips and tell stories. But last year, we actually had a live touring show where we were doing experiments on stage. And we were actually bringing the audience up onto stage and letting them be a part of the experiment. So they got to be Mythbusters, you know, for that for that night. Um, and then we, you know, we actually did a lot of like uh, liquid nitrogen experiments. So it, it was a, a bit more of a production. That was wild. Do you know I had like a little bit of a liquid nitrogen burn for like two months after that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> too big yeah. of a splash. We got a little too excited. But it's tough because uh, we can't normally do any explosives or big ni liquid nitrogen experiments or 
like and things like elephant toothpaste because a lot of venues have very strict codes about fire and so right. that's interesting yeah uh, uh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very interesting <laughs> grant uh, uh. <laughs> all right go for it you're up next awesome thank you uh hey guys you hey how's it going? hey Chris. yeah yep uh, so I know Adam's doing the uh, the Tested channel on YouTube, and I think mm -hmm. Carrie, I think I've seen you work with uh, Simone, uh, Queen of Shitty Robots, a few times. Yeah. Sure. Is there any other YouTube channels you guys work with, or any other ways we could see what you guys are up to once in a while, and stuff like that? Or um, I just I just did like a, a hamburger, the hamburger <laughs> show. We, <laughs> I, I went. What? This, Is it yeah. epic meal time? It, it was an epic meal time. It's called the Hamburger Show, oh. and uh, we went to San, in San Francisco. There's a robot that builds hamburgers, and so I went there to see if this chef could go against the robot and see who made a better burger. Beautiful. <laughs> that's, okay. I think it's gonna. I think that's gonna go live on uh, the 26th, March 26th. So like in a week. Yeah. I can't tell you who won. It's a, yeah. you, you'll have to tune in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently nice. filming a show called Crash Test World, which um, we are traveling around the world, and it's a family-friendly show, but it's supposed to create global citizens so that we can um, hey, fight xenophobia through introducing mm -hmm. uh, people to different cultures. So a kid in Kansas can see what it's like to be a kid in Zimbabwe or in the Middle East. It's, it's really fun. We've done a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, two weeks ago, I was in Qatar doing falconry and at a Bedouin camp out, and it's been a really great experience, but I can't wait till that starts to air. Cool. Cool. Yeah, awesome. I'm a Thank spokesman you. for Mauser Electronics, so you can go to mauser.com and see um, our online stuff. Uh, most of the consulting work I'm doing for Disney is is uh, under a non-disclosure agreement, <laughs> but the part that was released is called Stunttronics, so you can look that up on YouTube. Yeah, that's awesome. YouTube. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Thank you guys for being here. Good. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. I like your little avatar. It's cute. Thanks. You know, it's in the theme. <laughs> um, I love my job, but yours seems pretty awesome. So if my next career I wanted to do something like what you guys are doing, how would you suggest someone get started? Honestly, the way that people are getting shows now is getting huge YouTube followings. I've noticed that uh, Netflix is reaching out to people who've gotten giant followings. Um, so a really creative YouTube channel, I think, is the way into SciComm these days. Hmm. Thanks. What do you, what do you want to do? Blow stuff up and get paid for it. Oh yes. yeah. Oh. You know, that, we, we, you know, we just we got cool. lucky with that one. <laughs> Nobody saw that one coming. You could go to New Mexico Tech and get a BS in explosive uh, materials, and then go off and be a bomb tech though, and then you get paid to blow stuff up. Brilliant. Yeah. And then put it on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Put it on YouTube. Yes. We we learned we learned very quickly. When in doubt, blow stuff up because like <laughs> we were we were doing one experiment. And it was like a guy had a cement truck, the cement set up, and to get the cement out, he had a he loaded it up with dynamite to break up the cement, but ended up blowing up the truck. So we tested that, and it was like a whole week of putting in dynamite, and nothing was happening to the concrete. So we're like, okay, we really don't have an ending to this show. So what do we do? And somebody was like, well, what if we fill the whole cement truck up with explosives? And we were all like, that's a genius idea, and. <laughs> It is to this day probably one of our most famous explosions in the series, the cement truck explosion. Yeah, I think eight out of ten people, if you ask them what their favorite explosion was, they'll say cement truck. Yeah. Are you gonna go blow up the? <laughs> oh yes. Oh. Oh. Up. oh. There she no. Goes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there we go. Oh. 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 See, now normally you wouldn't be able to stand that close to an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! High cool. five. Cool, next question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't get hurt. <laughs> That's the great thing about this. I, got, I think I'm getting carpal tunnel, though. <laughs> Buster is getting a little stalkerish. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oops, sorry about that. You can go back. <laughs> you can move him? Can you move him? 
Yeah. Apparently so. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, maybe if you grab him. If you could step out over here by Whoa. Oh, Sorry. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh. Whoa, you're doing it. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Um, so, a bit of a quick question. Um, I know Adam and uh, Michael have been uh, going around doing, like, the whole brain candy thing. Have you guys ever considered <laughs> maybe doing something similar? That, uh, or has even been offered such? Uh, we went out on tour with White Rabbit Project for a while and did a live live tour, but um, yeah, the, the, the roads, that's a little tough. I, I enjoy TV better. <laughs> yeah, we did a six-city uh, six tour uh, just to test out the idea. And yeah, we did a bunch of live experiments with people, and uh, it was pretty fun. Yeah, it was it was but fun, it was but grueling. it was probably yeah. like some of the most grueling because it was a lot of travel, and then you know every night you're like performing for two hours, and we we're like this, I, I want to go make a TV show. That's way easier. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Um, and uh, you, What's happening, Michael? you jumped the queue a bit. You got to get back in line. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, he's a oh, savage. Wait. He's a warrior. Of course he's going to jump the line. Wait, it's like Comic-Con. There are lines again. <laughs> hey, Michael. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hold on. Sorry, What's my up? cat is like hey, I'm I'm chewing up my chair. <laughs> yeah. Guess, guess what? We can't see your Philip. cat. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. He's, just, he's adorable, but he's a troublemaker. <laughs> but anyway, I, I want to ask this question because someone brought up gaming before, and I think it's fascinating because... You know, the pioneering and, you know, demand for gaming is kind of what paved the way to have what we have right now, which is fantastic. And I kind of just wanted to know what your guys' like favorite Thanks. games of all time are. This is unbelievable. Oh, oh gosh. I mean, like of all times? Or, or like, you know, maybe narrow it down. It might, that might take a long time. But... I, I would say I would say I probably wasted more hours of my life to Halo and Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I mean, of all times, Street Fighter and Mario Brothers are my first, but Very I played nice. a lot. Oh, you going? You going? You going old school, yeah. retro? Old I played school. a lot of Tempest because my parents still have a stand-up arcade Tempest in the garage. So. Oh wow! Oh, I play that all the time. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm a first-person shooter guy, so I go back to. Doom and Duke Nukem and oh, Quake. Nice. Oh, yeah. Well, so, Doom. Yeah. When Grant and I worked at Industrial Light and Magic, after we would get off work, we had this one room that was we had about 10 consoles, you know, computers set, uh, set up, and they were all in the same network. And so we would play Unreal Tournament, like, till 2 in the morning. Yeah. After, you know, it was like... People would come in and be like, go home, work's over. <laughs> yeah. And we were just like, ah, can't get enough. Yeah. No, that's awesome. No, I... Multi kill, ultra kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Stuff. You know it. Headshot. Yeah. <laughs> that's Perfect. great. Thanks, guys. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. All right, next up. This user may be using text to speech, just so you guys know. Okay. Uh, no, no, I can talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. It's really great to see you guys. I used to watch the show when I was younger. That was awesome. But uh, um, I see that you guys, especially Tori, have been having a whole lot of fun in VR. Yes. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, look at that. So I'm curious, uh, how much did you know, guys know about VR before this? And now that you're here, how does it you know, match up to your expectations? What did you expect? I'm blown away personally. Um, but I... I, I came in here to try this out for the first time yesterday to really check out the grounds and it was beyond my expectations. And this whole interactive thing, you know, where we're able to see you and talk to you, like like coming up and like waving to people and then you guys are waving back. It's just, it's such a, it's a, such a cool experience as opposed to, you know, just the programs where you would get in and it was like a set thing that you would check out and do. This is so much cooler because we're actually getting to interact with you guys. One it, thing about Mythbusters we always personal. loved is the being able to connect with the fans. We've always had message boards. We've always been able to to talk, but not like this. Yeah. 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 And just having you talk back to us and 
seeing everybody how you're animated, it, it feels a lot more personal. And you guys are so cool. Like, you're such a nice crowd. Let's give it a hand of, yeah. round of applause for you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> then we can do it. Can we do a wave? Oh, damn. Yes. Do the wave. Do the wave. Let's see. Ready? One. Two, three. Yeah. We might shut down the servers. Oh, no. Be careful, your cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is hilarious. I can make an explosion. You want to see it? <laughs> I don't know. I know, yeah. What are we Normally explosion? at a con, that would be a threat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Like, do it. We need, let's say our countdown. Okay. Three, two, Five, two, one. Two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, is it possible? You. Can we do that? Mine is bigger. You can try it. <laughs> try it. Try it. Try it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trigger it, 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 trigger Busters, did you know the color of your fart when you light it on fire will change depending on the constituents oh of it? God, if you've got more like... methane, it'll be a, a different color than if you if you don't produce methane. So you can have an orange or a blue fart. That's what awesome. Do you need to get orange yeah. farts. Um, most people have like orangey farts. I believe the bluish color comes from like the, is it like 22 percent of people produce methane? Fun fact. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> One in five people in this room. <laughs> Fun facts. Fun facts. Fun facts. Fun facts. Fun facts on first date. <laughs> oh. He's very nice, a little gassy. Yeah. That's the question we always get is what's the grossest smell you've ever had on Mythbusters? What's oh. that? What do you think is oh. the grossest smell? Gosh. Ooh, yikes. Yeah. Yeah. No, that that's actually a... wasn't the worst. <laughs> I, <laughs> what was I gotta it? I say, it was, uh, for me, it was uh, the earwax. Yeah, that was mm. disgusting. Uh, yeah. Like heating, heating up ten. earwax in, in a pan. Yeah, oh, that, that, was, that was the <laughs> most <laughs> disgusting thing. <laughs> like, yes. earwax alone was disgusting, but when we lit it on fire... It was like, oh. and yeah. the reason we did it is because we were uh, we got the whole idea from uh, the movie Shrek, Shrek, Shrek oh. where he pulls out earwax and makes a candle. So we're like, oh, oh let's see if earwax yeah. works no. as a candle. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I was not enjoying wolf urine. Wolf urine oh, yeah. is oh, yeah. very, yeah. very pungent, and it was, was wolf disgusting. in heat. And they put what? it in, uh, we were trying to uh, repel dogs, see if we could beat a guard dog. And so we covered ourselves in different things and I got covered in wolf urine, but the smell started coming up inside of my dog bite suit. And I was just getting so nauseous. <laughs> Grant, what about you? What's your like most vile smell from the whole series? Hi there. You uh, it is absolutely the earwax. That's yes. that's the one. I've I've never seen Tori gag on Selfie. set until that day. Oh yeah, that was so gross. It's the worst. Oh, you know what else was really gross? Uh, blended pig brains. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, I know, right? Why? Why would you do that? Well, we were told we were trying to make a ballista. And they told us oh, that if, no. uh, instead of using rope to wrap around the arm, you would have to use uh, guts, like pig guts. And so they said, but you have to cure the pig guts with blended pig brains. I mean, this was something that we got from like 
you know, the 1600s when they were making ballistas. And uh, we did it, and it was literally, I wanted to vomit. Yeah, that was yeah. that was the worst. Yeah, that was pretty pretty awful. <laughs> that episode was hilarious. Do you remember that uh, we were supposed to use tendons, and we went all over Chinatown <laughs> trying to find actual intact tendons to use to build it, but like there wasn't. I was yeah. having trouble communicating what I was trying to get, and I came yeah. home with a big bag of. Uh, yeah. hmm. yeah. How do I explain it? No, no, sure. Ma uh, I male genitalia, animal male genitalia. <laughs> it was, and it will, there are bull penis. Penis. Okay. Bull penis. I just yes. Okay, so the guys were pretending they were nunchucks and they were playing with them. Um, and, so yeah. the and I'm like, so we couldn't find tendons, but we did find. Oh, you're playing with a penis. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Oh, they're 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 long. <laughs> Surprisingly <laughs> long. I yeah. I mean, it was just like they were like. But I mean, the fact that you can just like buy them in a shop in Chinatown was amazing. Yeah, yeah. that was crazy. Did you sell them to survivor um. after? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What, what did happen to that? Was that part of the? Uh, <laughs> that was, I mean, they were on the ballista. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, they were on the ballista. So. Yeah. It's probably decaying in a museum right now. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> well, do we have any other questions, guys? This has been an amazing hour's worth of tons of fun. Do we have any other questions before we let this gang go? Are we going to do, should we do a, a group photo? Let's absolutely do a group oh, photo. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'd still like to try an expulsion. Pretty please. <laughs> I think it's probably better that you didn't, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll do it for the next uh, con. Yes. yes. We'll let you guys will have a chance to blow something up. This was our first go no at this. No one will get hurt. <laughs> no one will get hurt. come up with some more stuff. <laughs> Why doesn't everybody crowd around the stage and then face um, the back of the auditorium and then you guys stay on stage? Step up, Carrie. Woo! Oh, yeah. Everybody crowd up there at the front of the stage. Oh, so weird. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you guys. You. Those that are flying, <laughs> maybe you could uh, land on the ground. Those that are flying, maybe <laughs> land. Uh, Where are we and looking? Maybe the shortest in front. Yeah, yeah, shortest exactly. in front. The, the Just like every other group picture, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just make so sure nobody blinks, okay? Wherever the. Oh, Did my friend Thomas show up? I, I think I saw minute. him. I saw him for a I little saw bit him. there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is that? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Is that the camera? Where's the <laughs> camera? <laughs> the floating the camera? camera? Is the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where will I see this? Ready. Oh, so we're looking at the little floating camera? Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Smile. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smiling in real life. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie, Grant, Tori, thank you so much for coming and doing this with us. It's been so, an amazing thank experience. Thank you. We appreciate so you nice guys. With us. So and nice to meet you, you guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a great one. Bye. Thanks. Thanks. I'm Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nice job. About a, I want to remind five. everybody that the awesome. Avatar contest is about yeah. to start. So awesome. if you want to head on over to the <laughs> Avatar <laughs> contestants. What's the prize? The oh. prize is $10,000 worth of HFC. <laughs> That's so so cool. cool. That's amazing. And uh, second cool. prize is five thousand dollars worth of HFC, and third prize is a thousand. So we're giving away some big bucks, and there's some amazing high five, high five. Thirty-seven of them actually. <laughs> high five. Oh my so God. head on over to the stage. And 
Oh, whoa, you can kneel. <laughs> oh, Bye, Mouse! Or is that like Tia? My hands are gone. I will never wash it again. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Uh, I'm your cash again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are awesome. That's so right. cool. I'm flying up out of here. <laughs> Gary disappeared. Gary disappeared. Okay. Yep. All right. Gone. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks again. Bye. Appreciate Bye. it. Thanks again.